G'day Herman, good to see you. I haven't seen you since last year. In fact, you're a man after my own heart. We've been using the database for a while. What was the first version you ever used? Uh, yeah, good to see you too, Connor, by the way, right? My first version actually was 5.1c on Windows, but let's ignore that for a second. It says, let's say I started with the version 6 of the database. Version 6? I'm a version, I'm a, I'm a version 6 baby as well. So uh, here's one for you. If you had to go back and use version 6 today, what would you miss most from the, the, the latest versions of Oracle? Ooh, that's a, that's a trick question. So I, I have to actually, I don't want to settle on one thing. I want to just give you three things, because the top three things, right? Uh, with different angles, right? If I talk about it just from a, from a database functionality in terms of what was available there from a relational world, I would definitely say partitioning, right? Because we are, we were dealing with large volumes of data back then as well, although large was probably not as large as large as today. But there were large databases and this is just a feature you need if you deal with large data compared to you know the capabilities of the hardware. So that is definitely from a from a pure good old relational world number one. Number two is JSON. JSON processing, whether this is you know SQL JSON or now through the MongoDB API because it makes life so much easier to, from a converged database perspective to work with data that might not be as structured as you would like to see it before. And last but not least, what we back then only had in the sky is the cloud and there specifically the autonomous database because I don't want to know how often I try to install the database and fail or, you know, managing it, right? It's just... I don't have to worry about that anymore. So does it answer your question? It does thoroughly. Thank you very much, Herman. Have a great week.